How's it going guys? Uh, so today's video is basically going to be of the stuff that I didn't actually release when it came to Rugby 18. Uh, obviously, I got in touch with two YouTubers, uh, two YouTubers if you remember, and uh, only one of them got back to me, so I'm not going to say any more about that. And obviously, I gave a certain amount of stuff to one of the YouTubers that did a video on it, which is the Scottish Cannon, I'll shout him out. And then the other YouTuber I gave to didn't get back to me, which is fair enough, it's up to him, isn't it? Uh, so I'm left with the artwork that I originally designed for him to have and he didn't release it so I'm going to show you it today basically so the first one my throat's really weird okay so I apologize for that I say the first one is uh, obviously the cover of rugby 18 what it would look like uh, just a heads up this game isn't real in case you're new to this whole scenario thing uh, basically, we want to well, I've designed this stuff, what we would all want to see in a game, and uh, yeah, that's basically what this video is. Okay, so anyway, uh, so yeah, this is the rugby cover I would have had for Xbox One. Uh, it would have been a collector's edition as well. Uh, I kind of wanted to, like, I thought a collector's edition would be pretty cool to have uh, because you could get a lot of really cool merch and stuff, you know, like Uncharted and stuff that I've done it in the past as well, where you'd get like a necklace and a statue and stuff like that. Uh, I'll show you what would come with a collector's edition in a minute as well. Uh, so, moving on to the next one, there was a, a Nintendo Switch cover. I thought it would be pretty cool if we had a Nintendo, well, if it was on the Nintendo Switch platform. Um, not only because it would reach out to every console, but mainly because I think it would be making more interesting, you know, you have obviously have the motion sensors on the Nintendo Switch controllers, so it would add a bit more physicality in the whole playing of the game. Uh, obviously the physics probably wouldn't be able to be as good as you'd have on the Xbox One or PS4 or PC, uh, but it would be a simplified version and I thought it would be quite a cool, interesting thing to have on it as a two-player thing, or just a single thing really, it's just... I don't know. It might not work, it might... Well, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so moving on to the next thing then, would be the back of the cover. Now, nobody's actually seen this before, so I'm going to do like a zoomed in thing on this video. Uh, so as you can see, it says, the ultimate rugby game has arrived. In Rugby 18, you can play as your team, or start from the grassroots of the game and create your own chapter to becoming a superstar of all the officially licensed teams and leagues from around the globe. Also shows all the leagues then, as you can see. Uh, officially licensed leagues and tournaments and then for the pictures then I got the pictures out of Rugby 15 World Cup game and John Alamu game as I said it's not a real version of a game so that's why I didn't have anything else to get out of um, and then it says please note that this is not a real game and it's created by AT Gaming which is myself the artist copyright of AT Gaming it does not give any permission to reuse unless stated so the only other person that's used this is the YouTuber Scottish Cannon, which I gave it to him. Uh, then it would be co-op, one to two players. It would be on Xbox Live, one to two players. Um, and then as you can see, ATG Studios, because I designed it. And that's pretty much it, really, for the back cover. So, again, I thought it would be a little fun thing to do, and my cheeks twitched, I don't know if you noticed that. Uh, but yeah, I thought it would be a little fun thing to do was cover art and stuff. And which would be the final thing then that nobody has seen and then Rugby 18 is completely finished then because there's nothing else for me to show. Uh, this is obviously the collector's edition, what you would get. Uh, obviously a copy of the game, uh, Rugby Ball saying Rugby 18 on it. Obviously it would probably have a better design, uh, but I thought it would be cool, you know, just to have a Rugby Ball of the official game. Uh, a hat saying Rugby 18 and an ornament. Uh, originally the ornament was just a trophy, rugby trophy I found online and I kind of made it look cool and I uh, added the Rugby 18 logo on it because it would be quite cool wouldn't it, to have a statue or something from the game, say there was only like a hundred of them where every like thousand of game releases, I, I don't know don't really know anything about that stuff but I thought it'd be cool um, so yeah that's pretty much the video guys uh, thanks for watching, as always leave a like if you enjoyed this video and comment uh, pretty much just to show your support. Uh, this game obviously isn't real, which I keep saying. Um, but if you're really into the game, make sure you leave a like. Because I know my other videos have had thousands of views, but not everybody has left a like. Which is fair enough, like. But if you want this game to be 
having the support and people to see it, it needs likes. And this isn't me trying to fish for likes, it's just it's just the way it works, okay? It doesn't get noticed unless it's popular. Um, so yeah, and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, or if you haven't already, I do videos just as fun as this. And uh, yeah, if you're only into these videos, Rugby 19 will probably be up towards either the end of this year or the start of next year. Also, one more thing, I want to make a statement. <laughs> it's about uh, the Rugby 18 original trailer. Remember that? It was a preview thing. Uh, it's had a lot of dislikes, which I don't really know why, because obviously it wasn't a real game. I stated it wasn't a real game, and a lot of people have just taken a disliking to it and have said, well, they haven't said anything. It's just it's received hundreds of dislikes, and I just wanted to put it out there that obviously it was taken from the EA Sports tw uh, 2011 FIFA game. Uh, I didn't have any game footage, of, that's what I thought the intro should be like though. And that was the only thing I could get, similar to what the game cover was. So that's why I took that, and that's why I made the trailer. I wanted to get everybody hyped up for it, because this, these videos get a lot of support. And uh, that's why the trailer was made, so I'm sorry if you all disliked that, but... I'm afraid that's just how it is, so... Yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.